okay, so who was in the click? You had Nash. So you had Nash, Sean. Razor, Sean, Triple H, X Pac. Is that it? I think. I think that was the I thing. think that might have been all of the click. And then all right. I'm sitting here thinking BSK versus the click. What's the the matchups here? You know, if you're going uh, if you're gonna build a, a card based off of the two click or the two All right, so you've got Yokozuna. Yeah. Godfather. Yeah. Rikishi. Mm-hmm. Brian Adams. Yourself. Myself. You got the God ones. And Vega. Savio Vega. Fuji. Fuji's going to be the manager. Or dual manager. It depends on whether Paul or not. Yeah. So. Um, all right. So if you're going to do a card here of who's against two, like, all right, you got Nash. Who's Who would you put Nash against? On BSK side, uh, I put Nash against. Uh, I put Nash against Godfather or Yoko. That'd be a good match. So I'm gonna work with Sean. You're gonna work with Sean. <laughs> you already told it. I'm working with Sean or Triple H. <laughs> We're I, I, you know what? All those guys could work. Razor could work. The, the Click man. That's a that's a Mount Rushmore. Of. Yeah, they, those th Yeah, Razor could work. Sean Trips. I mean, they all could work. God, That's who's funny. Razor going to uh, work with against NB NBSK? What's that matchup look like? Yeah. Hmm. Is it Brian Adams? I guess, yeah. I, guess, I don't know, man. I've never thought this in my entire life. I've never actually thought about putting booking a card. With Click versus BSK? Click, yeah, Click versus BSK. You're, if you're going to work with Sean... Triple H. I'm going to work with Sean and Triple H in a handicap match. In a handicap yeah. match. Yeah, and I'm going over. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be for the Intercontinental Championship since you never got that. Yeah, I never did. <laughs> I don't even know if I ever even wrestled for it. And then, uh, and, and, okay, Yoko versus Diesel, man. That's that's a, mm. that's a lot of weight in the, uh, in the ring and... A lot of talent in the ring as well. Um, Godfather versus. I, I, I mean, God. you got X Pac sitting there. You got Razor sitting there. I think Razor. Ver I mean, I'll maybe use it Razor versus Godfather. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, the rest are going to be squash matches because <laughs> we got nothing but monsters over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I might have, I might have to give one guy up. I don't know. I, I, I mean, the click I, is nothing but Hall of Famers too. That's the other problem you got. I mean, you got. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. You guys are. You guys are. We're, you got. We're well represented. We got Yoko, Yoko Rikishi, Godfather. Me. Oh, I'm forgetting about Rikishi. I mean. Yeah. God, Rikishi could work too, man. Yeah. Um, Hey, the Samoans, they come out of the womb <laughs> ready to wrestle. Ready to wrestle. <laughs> no. That's just like some kind of special gene that they have. I don't yeah. know. Come out taking a bump. and I thought at some point during the main event at Mania that the entire family was just going to. So before the match, I don't know if you're able to see it, they were setting mm. chairs up out um, uh, during the um the, the women's uh, championship match. They were sitting chairs out up at the entrance for WrestleMania. And um, I was like, what in the world's going on? I honestly thought, and that was for like the orchestra or whatever for oh, Roman's oh, entrance. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought that they were going to bring out like the entire like family and have them all sitting up there. I don't think the stage was big enough for, <laughs> for, for all of them. <laughs> Holy hell. I thought that that's what they were like initially doing. I thought they were putting chairs out there for the entire family. If they had brought them out, then they have half of them would have had to hit the ring. Oh, my God. Dude, there would have been itching. A bit of melee. Of oh, 
Could you have, and even, I mean, God, they could have done something where you may win tonight, Cody, but you still got to walk back to this you locker. Got, you still got to go back up that <laughs> ramp, right? Uh, Cody never leaves the ring. He's in, uh, he lives in Philadelphia. He's got a promo <laughs> from Lincoln Financial the next night. I haven't left. <laughs> they oh won't let God. me leave. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Or, I mean, do you just throw a Royal Rumble, BSK versus Glick, and uh, throw them in the, in the ring together? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. It's interesting, interesting booking there. I think pound for pound outside of the ring, you guys have them no matter what. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they had some big players over there, but uh, Triple H isn't a drinker, though, is he? No, he, he never he, drank. Yeah. Mm -mm. He, was, he was the babysitter. Was there ever any, at, towards uh, maybe early on, was there anybody like kind of raising an eye to him about the fact that he didn't drink? I don't, no, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, he was always out. And yeah. He was, you know, he was always in the mix, but uh, he just didn't drink. That yeah. Wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't his deal. So. That's kind of like me. I, I, I'll still go out and hang out all night long. I'm just not a, just not a drinker. It's yeah. not my thing. I mean, as Unless a, it's happy dad's. Yeah. So, you know, I haven't even tried this yet. Gosh, I'm just not a drinker, but that wild cherry, son. It hits. I, you, I had one of those earlier. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> How long have we been here? We got them stacked up over here. I think, I think we've gone far beyond our <laughs> commitment here. <laughs>